The obvious guess for what's going on with hallucinations is that these AIs are trained first and foremost on predicting text. Mm -hmm. Say you're predicting blah that a lawyer writes. That lawyer's gonna write blah, blah, blah as seen in this precedent and then cite a real case law. That lawyer, when writing blah, is not going to say, I happen to not know the case law. What you're saying to me right now is that the LLMs hallucinate because no one on the internet ever writes the words, I don't know. That's part of it. Nobody's out here being like, you're right, I'm actually out of my depth and that's beyond my knowledge. No one says that. That's the first part of it. But then yeah. even among lawyers, there's all sorts of lawyers who will say, oh, I don't know the case law on that. Yeah. But they don't say that when they're writing. They're not writing, a thing. Yeah. When yeah. the pen's going to paper. Even if you tell the AI, you're predicting a lawyer who would never make up case law. The AI can still get closer to what a lawyer says as measured by text similarity by making stuff up. It's not that it doesn't know it's fake. It's that this thing cares more about the similarity of the text. About it looking like it's supposed to look, even if it doesn't have anything to put in that space. That's right. And so that's the babyest version of the AI cares about something you didn't ask it to care about because it was mm -hmm. trained to perform well. Hallucination is the most famous misalignment. Yeah. And it's telling, you know, these companies will go around saying, this is our most aligned model yet. Look how good we're doing at alignment. The hallucination persists. Because that's mm -hmm. sort of a deep feature of the training and how the training points it in ways we don't like.